genetics will, will proceed to a point where things like height, color of eyes, longevity, uh, the, the sensitivity to certain diseases, all those things which are probably genetically determined can probably be assessed in one cell. Are we ready for the ethical questions that genetic selection for individual traits is about to thrust upon us? Once you get to the situation where it is essentially a complicated process about whether uh, your offspring may or may not inherit a, a certain characteristic, that is aggression or, uh, uh, or gayness or, or, or uh, some aspect which may be less preferred but not, not at risk for survival, you are taking decisions which are generally beyond our capability of making simply. In selecting for trait, are we taking the first step to design children? So far, genetic diagnosis has prevented hereditary disease in a few hundred children. Very soon, this technique will affect millions of us. It's estimated that every single one of us has eight to 12 genetic flaws. Mate with someone who carries a matching flaw and any of us could have a dying child. Already genetic scientists can tell some people what diseases lie ahead of them, even what they will die of. This young man knows he will die in 15 years or so of Huntington's chorea. My uncle had died from that, uh, my grandmother had died from that. In my family, um, my mother showed when I was 42. He and his wife asked Dr. Mark Hughes to help them have babies free from the Huntington's curse. I'm pregnant with twins, <laughs> little boy and little girl. I'll be 24 weeks tomorrow, so about six months pregnant. This couple watched their healthy babies develop, knowing he will not see them grow to adulthood. This man is unusual. He knows his genetic future. Soon everyone could. There's certain people you can tell. There's certain people that you can't tell. A doctor, normal doctor, doesn't know. He cannot tell his employers. I want to continue in my job, you know, until I start showing. If they had the information that I'm a carrier, just to play it safe, they might remove me from that position. He dare not tell his health insurance company. An uh, insurance company may not want to pick you up or something. So I know they're going to have a big bill ahead. So it's, it's more than Huntington's. I mean, there's a lot of other things out there. When we can predict before babies are even born which of them will die prematurely, will it be right to weed these embryos out? I think it will be better if you can make a baby which will never have cancer never have a heart disease. It's a baby which is going to become a, an adult and will live a very long time. Uh, if you don't get in a, if, if cars are also being redesigned, will not have a car accident. Um, longevity issues and genetics and reproduction are, are related in a certain way. And those things will get together to make individuals uh, produce individuals which, which will, I think, be a lot better off than we are. Genetic diagnosis is arguably the biggest scientific breakthrough of the 20th century. But genetic diagnosis is also a kind of time travel. And time travel has never been possible before. We've never been able to look into the future in any aspect of our lives that I've ever known about before. The knowledge, this knowledge, will allow us to be able to essentially predict the probability of the future. And I think that nobody has really synthesized what that means. If our forefathers could have traveled in time and selected out embryos they knew would suffer from dread diseases or other inherited defects, here are a few who would never have been born. No John F. Kennedy, no Steve McQueen or Albert Einstein, John Houston, 
Theodore Roosevelt, Ludwig van Beethoven, Charles Dickens, Charles Darwin, no Woody Guthrie, no Abraham Lincoln, no George Bernard Shaw, no many of the rest of us. And when we can select for beauty, brains, and bravery too, which one of us could be sure of being here? Molly, look at the Molly, camera and say cheese. It. Now she'll do her cheese ball face. We're home. Home sweet home. Close your eyes. Not that big old light coming in. Close you your eyes. Ah, uh, just a minute. My. <laughs> <laughs>